Hey, what's going on everyone? Monado Max here, and today we're back with another video showing you guys all the games that are coming out on the Nintendo Switch in the month of May. Now this one's gonna be interesting. I didn't expect that this was a series you guys actually wanted, but the performance viewership wise was actually pretty strong and it did some decent numbers. So if this is actually a series you guys want continuing, because both me and Coleman are like, uh, I don't know if we like this, because Coleman, you know, he doesn't like the series, even though he suggested it. Uh, let us know. Let's let's try to get 40 likes. If we get 40 likes on this video, we will continue this into the series. Let's get some comments in there too, and all that good stuff. So, without further ado, let's start off with what games are coming out May 2023, because we have over 50 games to talk about. Right. So we're bringing out the phone because there's going to be some games I don't even know what we're talking about, but yeah, let, let's do this. So I'm guessing when we're talking about this game, it's talking about the physical release. Uh, this website that's showing me all the Nintendo Switch games release is talking about Final Fantasy Pixel Remastered. Uh, obviously that just came out on the eShop, but I believe the physical copies are being shipped out on May 1st. So if you got a physical copy, it's coming May 1st. If you were one of the lucky ones that got to get an American copy, because that sold out in seconds, and then they restocked it once, and it sold out in seconds. So yeah, I, that might actually be the rarest, most expensive Nintendo Switch game. The American version. I know you can get an import version, so yeah. Coming in on May 2nd, we have Tajuya Knight Dracula's Revenge. Never heard of it before, but it's coming out May 2nd. It's got Dracula in the title, so it's probably going to be an awesome game, if I'm to guess. May 3rd, we got... Well, actually, we got a few games coming out on May 3rd. May 3rd, we got Color Pals. Never heard of it. May 3rd, we got Super Dungeon Maker. Now, I have heard some things about this, if this is the game I'm thinking of. I, I think I saw they're doing a uh, physical release of this. Uh, now, I might be wrong. Don't quote me on this. Please do not quote me on this. I think Premium Edition is doing a physical copy on this game. I might be wrong. I, I feel like I saw one of these companies that do limited release Switch games uh, doing, doing something with this game. So for a company to want to do a physical copy of this game, it's probably good, and uh, I don't know. So that could be something to look out for. May 3rd, we got The Whipping Willow. What a title. I'm definitely intrigued by that. It's coming out on all platforms except PlayStation, so I'm wondering if it's already out on PlayStation. So that might mean it might actually be a good game. I don't know, we'll see. May 4th, we got a lot of games coming out. We got Jigsaw Puzzle Fever. When I saw Jigsaw, I thought we were seeing Mr. Jigsaw himself from the Saw series, but no, it's just a puzzle game. Remember when there was a Saw game, guys? We should get another Saw game, especially since the Saw movies have been making a comeback recently. Come on, I can't be the only one that actually wants another Saw game. Especially on the Switch, that would be pretty cool. We got Mia and the Dragon Princess coming out on May 4th also. No place like home. <laughs> That's exactly how I feel every time I walk in this door, ready to film a video. <laughs> No place like home. Filming a Monado Max video. <laughs> Especially filming one of my favorite series of all time, which is talking about every Nintendo Switch game coming out in the month ahead. Because I love these videos so much. <laughs> and I know Coleman loves- I can't take it anymore! Shut up! May 4th, Pathfinder's Memories is coming out. Never heard of it. I know it sounds like a game about memories. I'm gonna forget about this game by the time I'm done with this video. So this is gonna be a lost memory. This is a lost game. May 4th, the Shooting Range 3D Shooting Gallery Simulator. That sounds like that is going to be a terrible game with how that title is, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. May 4th, we got Urbic City Builder. Interesting title, interesting title. May 5th, we got, <laughs> this is, wow, this is a title right here, Daru about Mole rats and depression. I'm intrigued by that title. I, I this game kind of sounds interesting. I know by the time I look at this video and Coleman puts a screenshot of the game, of the title, whatever, it's probably not gonna look very fun, but you know what? It sounds interesting. Coming in May 6th, we got Scrap Bolts. Interesting title. This is why I like doing these videos. You know, I, I used to be like, ah, oh, this video sucks, but I get to learn about some interesting Switch titles that I'm like. This, this is interesting. Okay, so May 8th, we got Push XL. 
another interesting title. May 9th, we got Dokapon Kingdom Connect. I'm pretty sure that's a, uh, a popular game series, so I, I might be wrong, unless this is like a bootleg version that's heading to the Switch eShop. May 10th, we got Garden Simulator. Hey man, you know we got a lot of simulator games on the Switch. We need a Garden Simulator. We got, we got Mr. Farming Simulator, we got Bee Simulator, we got Goat Simulator, we got... There, there's like so many simulator games, oh my gosh. We got Power Washing Simulator. When's that getting a physical release? Is that getting... Oh my gosh, uh, wait, no, I can't play that game. You know, fun fact about Power Washing Simulator. I have a friend who had a girlfriend, but once he started playing Power Wash Simulator, he put all his time into Power Washing Simulator that his girlfriend left him. So I don't know if I ever want to touch Power uh, Washing Simulator game because that, that game, I guess, is very addicting because he was literally like, Max, not buy that game. Very addicting. It will ruin your life. And I've heard a lot of people tell me it's addicting. So I don't think I ever want to touch that game. But maybe you guys shouldn't either. Just, just a fun fact since we're talking about all these simulator games. We've got Elemental War 2 coming out on the Switch. Didn't know there was an Elemental War 1, so I guess Elemental War is a, it's a series now. I guess it's good if it's got a series going. We got May 11th, oh, this, we got a lot of May 11th games. A May 11th Elemental War 2 comes out. We got Leap from Hell. Never heard of that one before. It's a leap, I guess, it's a leap. Uh, May 11th, we got Fuga Melodies of Steel 2. Literally coming out on all platforms. And it's a sequel, so I guess I guess it's a banger, guys. I guess it's a banger. Uh, May 11th. This one has my interest just by the title because when I saw this, when I was doing some research, well, I didn't do any research on the games, but I did look at the list a little bit before recording. When I saw this, I was like, this is an interesting title. I'm intrigued. We got a local news with Cliff Rockslide. So uh, in my imaginary brain, this is about to be a game about a local newscaster who's gonna lose his job because he didn't report the news or they're supposed to lie about something and he's like no I'm gonna talk about the news and it's gonna be his story of telling the news and that sounds like a great game million dollar game right there oh my gosh oh my gosh May 11th we got the murderous moose May 11th, we got Pretty Girls 2048 Strike. Is that a series? Is that a franchise? Or no, I'm, I'm thinking of Skull Girls, I think. May 12th, we got Family Fun Night. I guarantee you that game probably is garbage and is not family fun. It, it's Family Torture Night is what it probably is. If, it, if it's a cheap game, it, it's probably gonna suck. May 12th, oh my gosh. You know, that you could get Family Fun Night or you could get one of the greatest games of all time for this year. Probably gonna win Game of the Year this year. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is finally coming out on the Nintendo Switch. We have been waiting for this game for four years? Wait, no, is that right? Yeah, four years we've waited since this was announced back at E3 2019. I guess some people were waiting even earlier to be Breath of the Wild. I guess they were hoping that another Zelda game would happen. So I, I guess you've been waiting for a long time if we consider those points. However, it's finally here, May 12th, 2023. If you've not pre-ordered it yet, pre-order it. This game is gonna be talked about like crazy. The pre-order numbers are absolutely high already. I, for one, am very excited for Tears of the Kingdom. Let me know if you guys are excited for Tears of the Kingdom, because I'm excited for Tears of the Kingdom. All right, guys, May 16th. I think this was a game that recently just got announced. It actually looks really good, uh, but I'm a little mad about the Switch release, and we'll get into why in just a second. We got LEGO 2K Drive. This game looks very fun. It's a 2K game I'm pretty sure developed. Uh, 2K's developing a LEGO game, which is different because TT Games have been the company to always develop the LEGO games. And I know a lot of people talk about LEGO Racers being like one of the best LEGO games of all time. This looks like it's taking inspiration from that. So I'm actually very excited for this release. However, if you're a physical Switch collector like I am, uh, you're kind of getting screwed when it comes to the Switch version, the, the physical, the quote unquote physical copy. Uh, the physical copy of the game comes with a digital code. It doesn't come with a cartridge, which is super disappointing. I don't know if this is what the future of LEGO games are gonna be, just digital releases, but in uh, plastic, box that just seems like a waste of plastic to have something like this with no cartridge and it's got the big text it's download only 
I don't know why they're doing that, but it's coming on other platforms. I'm probably gonna pick it up on a different platform because I don't know. I don't like owning a digital game like that. It, it, it's really on my nerves because I have a few Switch games that are like that. I'm just like, why did I buy it like this? May 17th, we got Daymare 1994 Sandcastle comes out on all platforms. I like to think in my mind if a console game is coming out on all consoles it's got to be somewhat interesting for them to have the funds to put it on every platform rather than just one platform so i'm sure whatever coleman's about to show it's got to look good right <laughs> right and then may 17th we got under the warehouse wow what an interesting title and then may 18th we got a few games we got murtop it's coming out on switch and pc May 18th, we also got Winner's Wish, Spirits of Edo. Long title, interesting title, a lot of work, like words that just don't make sense in that title. The the way that, I don't know, I hate that title. I, I don't like how it's spelled on my end. Or just the way the words are, I don't know. That, I'm, I'm, I don't like that, I don't like that. that that's bothering me. Uh, May 19th, we got Element, or Element, a Clem, a, 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 Okay, I got You know what, Coleman? I'll admit I'm gonna give you the option to say this game right here that's coming out on May 19th. Then on May 23rd, we're getting Farming Simulator 20. Damn, Farming Simulator! Let's go! Three for the Nintendo Switch. Did not realize the Farming Simulator games were still coming out on Switch because I heard rumors they weren't selling well on Switch. I, I haven't, I didn't realize they were still coming out on Switch because I also haven't seen it in store anymore, the, the physical copies. I don't know if a physical copy exists anymore of this. Maybe it's digital only, I don't know. But it's coming out May 23rd. Any farming simulator fans out there, let's go. I'm not buying it. I don't know why I was cheering right there. I'm not buying it. May 23rd, we also got Monster Menu, the Scavenger's Cookbook. Then May 23rd, we got Puzzle, Bobble, Every Bubble. That sounds like a ripoff of that one game that I can't, is it, what, what's that game? That, that bubble game, the, oh my gosh. I can't believe I can't remember this game. Uh, this game, it kind of reminds me of something, but I just, I can't put my finger on it. Like, what, what does this remind me of? I just, I, I don't know. It, 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 it kind of reminds me of this one game with like the plumber, but the, the name's on the tip of my tongue. I just, I can't remember it. I just cannot remember it for the- Come on, please tell me, Coleman. I, I really hope you know what I'm talking about. Bubble Bobble. Mumble Bubble. Bubble Bobble. Bubble Wobble. Bubble Bobble. Oh my gosh, what, what, is, what am I thinking of? Bubble Bobble. This sounds like a rip off of that. May 23rd, we also got Warhammer. 40,000 bolt gun. I know there are so many Warhammer games out there. I don't know if they're good, but they're continuing to make Warhammer games, so they're selling, so I guess there's somewhat interest out there for them. May 25th, we got Akita Turo HD Remaster. Kind of interested to figure out what that game is, because it's an HD Remaster, so I'm kind of interested to figure out if it's a old game. Like when I'm saying old, is it like a PS2 era, PS1, PS3? Kind of intrigued on that one. Then May 25th, we got Ayo Shiro HD Remaster Switch. It's coming out on Switch, guys. May 25th. Wow, there is so many games coming out on May 25th. Oh my god. May 25th, we got Batboy. Batboy's coming out on Nintendo Switch. I always wanted a Batman game on the Nintendo Switch and was tired of playing the Telltale games and really wanted the Arkham games. Batboy is there, guys. Batboy's coming out on the Switch. Why don't we have the Arkham games on Switch, dude? That is so annoying to me because the Arkham games are so freaking good and they're not on the Switch. May 25th, we also got Do Not Feed the Monkeys 2099. So I guess it's a futuristic monkey game. Should be intriguing. Then May 25th, we got... This is another one for Coleman. Hopefully he'll just show the title of it. Coleman, the list that we have shows it in order. I'm going in. Uh, Max, uh, I'm not sure if you want to show this game, Max. Uh, it's a little... <laughs> It's a little, uh, you know, how do I put it lightly? Um, uh, let's just say it's not very, uh, it's not very Nintendo, um. <laughs> In the order of that list, please just show a screenshot, because I, I don't even think you could pronounce this either. It, 
If you could pronounce this, Coleman, I'm going to feel like the biggest idiot. But we're moving on to the next game. May 25th, we got Hello Kitty Friends in Happiness Paradise. You know, fun fact, there was a Hello Kitty game on the Wii U. I don't think it's as expensive as it used to be because it got a restock. But when it came out on the Wii U, the physical copy, it was one of the rarest Wii U games of all time. It was like Hello Kitty Crusaders or something. Super expensive Wii U game. Super expensive. Uh, dip down in price because they somehow managed to do a restock. It's just crazy that a Hello Kitty game got a restock. Anyways, I, I think that game actually got put on the Switch. Hello Kitty Crusaders. May 25th, we got Hush Hush. Probably what a lot of people want me to do when it comes to doing these videos. But I guess really just Coleman. He wants me to shut up and never make these videos again. May 25th, we got... Kaizuna AI Touch the Beat. They're making AI games already for the Nintendo Switch. May 26th, we got Fitness Circuit. Don't buy these fitness games for the Switch unless it's Ring Fit Adventure. Ring Fit Adventure actually works. Don't care what people say. Uh, there is some strong exercise moves on there. Then May 30th, Far World Pioneers. May 31st, we got Potion Craft. And then May 31st, Undying. Well guys, that is over 50 Nintendo Switch games that is coming out on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, kind of a weaker month, to be honest. The only things to really be looking out for, at least in my opinion, is Tears of the Kingdom and I guess 2K Drivers. But other than that, really just Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, it's going to be a slow month for me for buying games uh, when it comes to the newer games because that's the only thing that interests me. I do want to know, uh, what interest is you guys that's coming out this month for the Nintendo Switch? If we can get more than three games talked about in the comments, I will be very happy because I know that all the comments are probably going to be either Zelda, 2K Driver, or Dracing, whatever it's called, and then Final Fantasy uh, re-release. Okay, we need more than four games. If somebody could talk about more than four games in the comments of what you guys are excited for, I don't know what I'll do, but I'll do something. There's, I want like a detailed description of how you feel about some of these games. And I'll follow you on Twitter if you if you actually do that. That would that, be funny. Especially because you actually have to do research on that fourth game because there are so many games right there that useless games nobody's going to buy. So many garbage games. Anyways, I do have a quick announcement. We have opened up a member's role. You guys can become uh, what I, I like to call the Monado Marines. Uh, it's $5 a month on YouTube. You guys get access to exclusive emojis. Uh, you guys get a Discord role. I'll follow you on Twitter. There's a video shout out you get for following or subscribing to it. It's $5 a month. It helps out a ton. So if you guys would consider it, I'd appreciate it. If not, it's all good. Uh, we've been streaming on Twitch almost every day. So definitely check out the Twitch. Backslash that subscribe button. I've been talking for way too much, guys. Make sure to backslash. I can't believe I'm saying it. But backslash that subscribe button. We're about to hit 8,400 subscribers. Uh, make sure to like the video. Check out the Twitter. Check out the Twitch. Check out the Instagram. Check out the TikTok. Check out the Discord server. Check out everything that's in the description below. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, so since your favorite YouTuber has no idea how to read, he actually forgot to mention a few games coming out this month in May. So I'm going to talk about them for you because he sucks and I'm awesome. Remember me, Coleman, video editor Coleman. Monado Max sucks. Coleman is awesome. First game, um, Pixel Paint 2. I don't even know what type of game this is. It honestly looks horrible. I don't even know why anyone would even consider buying this game, but coming out May 2nd. Um, and then we have Gruda, Gruda. I don't know how to pronounce it. If you can't pronounce it, don't play it. Looks like a quirky little indie game. Probably gonna be just as bad uh, May 5th. And then we got Sword Breaker Origins. Um, this looks even worse. I don't even know what the gameplay looks like. You know what, Let, let's see some gameplay right now. All right, looks really boring. May 5th. Um, this one did not have a Switch listing. TT Isle of Man Ride on the Edge 3. No game on the Switch eShop, but it looks horrible. Comes out May 11th. And then we have 2021 uh, Moon Escape. Looks even worse. I don't, this is like way too retro. I don't, I don't really like this game. And then you put the Switch sideways and it, no one would ever play this. Comes out May, uh, 12th, May 12th. And then we have Pixel Driver. Now, as you can see, I already pre-ordered this game because I saw it and I was like, I gotta buy this game. I mean, look at this exhilarating gameplay. So, Pixel Driver comes out May 12th. 
Um, looks really good. Oh my god, I can't wait to play that game. Okay, I don't know how Max mixed, missed this one, but I guess he's just... He's really bad and he just hates his fans. World Championship Boxing 2. Um, it looks like a mobile game. I mean, every game on the Switch kind of looks like a mobile game, but whatever. Uh, May 17th, really cool. I love mobile games. All right, Bio Prototype. This comes out May 18th. I don't know what type of game this is. I don't care, it looks like a mobile game. Looks like that one Xbox indie game that no one liked. Shout out to Xbox Zero Games. Okay, um, Terra. Terracotta. Okay. Ripping off my other favorite game. I know. May 18th. I don't need, what, what even is this game, dude? This, all right. looks like a little run around game. It looks stupid. Looks like a stupid quirky indie game that no one's ever going to play. Shout out to the Switch. It has all the stupid mobile games. Um, Ghost Pia season one. This comes out May 23rd. As you can see, I don't know why anyone would ever want to play this game. This looks even worse somehow. Um, Kind of looks like a game my friend Jackson would play, to be honest with you. Yeah, my friend, my friend Jackson would really like this game. Or 1799. 